I'm concerned about young people and the voices of young people. What's most concerning? Is there any particular voice that, from your perspective, you think is needing to be amplified or needing to be present that maybe is not right now that we need to call upon? Yeah, I mean, look, I think clearly in our work, too, and we have struggled to find the right vehicle to get young folks in our community to have a consistent voice. So we've tried to work with the Normandy School District and try to find ways to, okay, there is a platform, but we know that's not the only platform. We've had several conversations with a number of the protest groups coming out of Ferguson and found those fascinating conversations. Mm-hmm. And What are know, they saying? Well, first and foremost, they're just humbling by how smart they are, just in general. Just in general, right? You know, as a professional doing this for a lot of years, I just sit and listen and I try to listen more than I talk when I meet with these young folks. I think what they're saying is there are so many systemic problems that aren't being addressed and they're weary of the old guard. And that's not necessarily a negative on the people themselves, but the approaches and the way they've done it just haven't been successful. It's being honest and owning things haven't worked doesn't mean you're a bad person, but the way you've gone about it truly hasn't worked as far as these young folks can see in their mind and their lives. And you cannot argue with the fact that things haven't worked. And they're saying, we need to do something different, right? And I think to the extent that they give us and the old guard a little courage to do things differently, including letting them have the microphone including letting them have some power in decision-making and then, you know, asking and pushing them to keep helping us now. Okay, mm-hmm. you brought your voice. Now let's stay with it. What I want to see happen is we, the collective we, but it's really them, have to keep poking the system. Got to keep pushing because our natural inclination, is let's go back to what's more comfortable and that's the way it used to be. Mm-hmm. So somebody has to keep pushing the system while we deliver programmatic Efforts that I think are different than we have always. Not that everything needs to change from a program delivery standpoint, but clearly they've raised some issues about, you know, here's what I know because of what I've grown up with and what I've seen and no one's here to help us. And unless we can, again, have the courage to say, tell me again what you're saying, where the problem rests and what could be the solutions. And then we're going to keep doing the same kind of things that quite frankly have not been very impactful long term. 